Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. Hopefully you guys all had a good week. Uh, let's see, the sun is kind of shining, which is good and bad, right? Because probably be dragging my table around. You never know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's been a good cold week. We have not had cold weather here in Michigan really much yet this winter, like way back in November, we had weird cold, like snowy weather. Um, but yeah, so now it's just cold. It's like really, really cold around here. So we're all kind of, um, yeah, commiserating. But you know, it's January in Michigan. What are you gonna do, right? So, hey, Nikki, how are you? Is it cold out in, uh, in Utah for you? I bet maybe, maybe it is, right? It's, it's winter everywhere, right? So, um, but yeah, let's see, I got my Elma gear on again. I have to tell you guys, it was so funny. So um, last Friday, I think I mentioned it was my dad's 77th birthday, I think I figured out. Um, yeah, you know, you have to do the math. That was like a long time ago, right? <laughs> it's snowing. Oh yeah, we're supposed to get, tonight, I think we're sp supposed to get snow here, Nikki. So yeah, it's crazy how like every weekend we've had kind of weird weather, like the weeks have been pretty good. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so my dad's birthday was last Friday. We all went to uh, my son Cade's basketball game and um, <clears throat> we thought it would be kind of fun. We told the guy that announces the games, we know him. And so, um, you know, small town, right? Everybody knows everybody. So we said, Garth, hey, it's my dad's birthday, Cade, my son, you know, grandpa's birthday. Um, and so he was like, yeah, I can announce it like, you know, during the game or whatever. And um, so he didn't announce it the whole first half. And then of course, like at halftime, I had to run out to go to the bathroom. And then that's when they announced like, Grandpa Denny's birthday. And you know, he kind of said some nice words about my dad. And and the cutest thing was like the student section, like across the way from where my dad was sitting, they all started singing happy birthday <laughs> and they ended it with grandpa. <laughs> so he, he had his hat down like lower and lower because he was kind of embarrassed, but I think also like truly loving it. So hey, Philomena, how are you doing? So anyway, it was just cute. Uh, yeah, he, he felt kind of special at Kate's uh, basketball game. So anyway, it was fun for him. So yeah, he had a good birthday. They won, Cade's team won um, last Friday, and we have another home game. Hey, Sharon, how are you? We have another home game, which is awesome. You know how nice it is to drive like around the corner to the high school rather than an hour plus away. So we'll start traveling again, I think next Tuesday. We have an away game, but tonight's a home game. It's kind of a scrappy team, so we will see. It'll be a tough game. Hopefully, um, Kate doesn't get hurt every time I'm like... <laughs> I shouldn't even say that because I probably jinx things, but I'm like, oh, please take care of my kiddo. <laughs> so thanks for the share, Philomena. Um, so yeah, let's see what else is going on. Um, not a lot, really. It's just kind of quiet winter time around here. So yes, good morning, Miss Sharon. So And welcome, anybody new, new friends to Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining us on the live or watching later or on YouTube. Love, love to have new friends watching. So thank you. And say hello. If you're new, I want to I wanna know who you are. So say hello so I can say hello back to you. So um, yeah, and if you haven't joined us for Facebook Live, um, I always do kind of my announcements. Um, the first thing and then we do a couple we do a couple of drawings where I give fun stuff away and then we do um, two demonstrations of projects that usually feature our product of the week which is the from my heart suite the valentiney suite this week and I have had so much fun like just playing with the product and even just I mean like touching and feeling the paper and I see Nikki you're saying you got your uh, paper yes and finally you were so sweet to like say just put that all together in one package but I felt like I had your stuff for forever. So I'm glad like it's not in my craft room any longer and you have it and you can play with all your fun new paper, including the From My Heart Valentine-y paper. So hopefully you can make some cute Valentine cards or projects or treats or something. So yeah, um, let's see what else. I got a text that like kind of, you know how like squirrel. <laughs> My mind went like totally blank. Um, oh, I know what else I want to tell you guys about. So, um, hey, good morning, Diana. Thank you for joining us. Um, so Stampin' Up! announced, it's been a couple of weeks that as demonstrators we've known this, but they are doing something co called a coordination product release. Um, and you can't really even, I, I printed the color or the flyers in color for, cause I thought it was kind of fun, but I'm going to tell you guys. So I'm going to show you this right here. It's basically a list of products that coordinate with either, um, product in the new spring mini catalog 
or this is probably not even doing anything for you guys or um the celebration brochure but the idea is that these are products that as demonstrators we can order right now so that um i can show you guys which i'm hoping to show you some of these things uh in the coming weeks right um and the idea is that <clears throat> so for example um they have one two three actually five sets of dyes and one uh, another package of paper. Oh my gosh, I should have, I do have that paper. I should have pulled that out. Um, maybe we will do that. I'm, I'm like dying. To, I haven't even like opened the paper yet either, but maybe I will show you guys the paper. But let, let me start back up, back up. So basically there are five stamp sets in either the spring mini catalog or the celebration brochure that they're going to have dyes that will coordinate and like cut all these things out. So the idea is, um, you know, get the stamp sets while you can. And then starting, this is on February 4th is when, as a customer, you can order these things. Um, and I will tell you, so based on last year, I don't know if you guys remember like the froggy dies or the cupcake, I think was the other one. Um, those sold out super, super quickly. Now I have heard that Stampin' Up! has I think like a bunch more of these um, in terms of numbers. So hopefully they don't sell out quite as quickly, but it is definitely a while supplies last situation. So starting on February 4th, you're going to want to order as soon as you can if there's something that you really, really want. Because I was laughing the other night we had our meeting, we were talking about this and I was like, I'm pretty sure I had people like even contacting me from like Australia about these dyes. Like they were wanting like if I had them to like ship them all the way there because they were such a hot commodity last year. So so don't let that happen and hopefully it won't this year but let me tell you I did mark in my catalogs so the one item is I'm going to coordinate with the positive thoughts stamp set so it is a stamp set on page 23 this one right here the positive thoughts stamp set and it actually has dies that cut out I think pretty much all of and I don't have these yet um, and I don't think you guys can really even see it. Oops, it's this one right here, but there's this cool frame and then some other dies that will cut out most of the images in the Positive Thoughts stamp set. So if you love that stamp set, get that. And then on February 4th, you can get the dies that coordinate with it. Um, along those same lines, let me look at my list here. There are, so there's the Special Someone stamp set that is super cute. It's like the little animal stamp set. I'm trying to flip these things on page 38 so can you guys see the special someone there's the raccoon and what is that a squirrel maybe a little mouse and some hearts and balloons and flowers so lots of cute images in there also and then there is a set of dies the special days dies so this one right there oh i don't know if that's showing up very well but i know it will cut out the squirrel and um all, all the animals, and I think the heart and the balloons and the flowers, so it'll cut out a bunch of stuff too. Um, then from there, all the ladybug. So the ladybug stamp set that is, if you spend or host a party and have sales of at least $300 during celebration, you can get that ladybug stamp set for free, and then they're gonna have a set of dies that will cut all of those things out. I don't know if this is helping you guys or not, but we're doing it anyway. So the ladybug dies that will coordinate with that stamp set. Oh good, you can see them pretty well, awesome. I'll get as close as I can. I try not to flick them around too much. Good, I'm glad Sharon, thank you for letting me know that. Um, and then also, so two more dies we have, oh yeah, the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. So that's one of the celebration stamp sets. Let me flip, so. This stamp set right here, you guys probably all, I've loved this stamp set. Awesome sentiments in that stamp set. So then the dies are called the, yeah, the Sending You Flowers dies. Is that right? Why does that not seem? Yeah, Sending You Thoughts stamp set and Sending You Flowers. So I think it's just kind of an add-on. So it's got some little label. Um, can you guys see those right there? Some label um, dies. And then actually you can kind of see that whole flower kind of thing there too. Ha! Huh? Oh, Diana, you have them. Awesome. Good for you. I, I decided I wasn't going to go crazy, so I got a couple of them. I got the ladybug dies that I'm going to show, be showing you guys soon, and then I have that paper that I really think I want to show you guys. Uh, but I have one more to tell you about. So the happy birthday to you stamp set, which I feel like maybe I already passed. 
I didn't flag these in the celebration brochure because I'm like, seriously, it's not even that big. But so this stamp set right here, the happy birthday to you stamp set, there are dies. Oh, yeah, so it'll cut out the full cake, the cake stand. It looks like more flowers, like an outline of flowers, and then maybe some details of the flowers. So that one right there. And that's an awesome stamp set. And then that you could cut that because we actually made, do I have that? We made this card. Where did it go? Oh yeah, right here. We made this card. It was um, a swap that I received, but can you see? So we actually colored and then fussy cut the happy birthday and the cake and the flowers and everything. Um, but the dyes are coming out that will cut that whole cake for you so you don't have to fussy cut, which it actually wasn't that bad to fussy cut it, but if you have the dyes, those are even better, right? So what's Sharon, yours are coming soon. Awesome, awesome. All right, so those five sets of dies that'll uh, coordinate with those five stamp sets. And then there is the Pleased as Punch. It's a 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I'm gonna tell you, cause it coordinates with, with a bunch of things. Um, it'll coordinate with your small balloon punch, small, I'm like talking way too fast, small bloom punch from Celebration, the heart punch pack, which is part of our product of the week that we're gonna be playing with in just a few minutes, the tulip builder punch, and the builder umbrella punch. So we have to get that paper. Hold on, I'm gonna go grab that because I have to show you guys because I haven't even opened it yet either. So I'll be right back. Here I come. Let me get my scissors. Cause look, I mean, this this top sheet has been like staring at me for a week or so. I don't remember however long I got it ago, right? But super cute. So that's gonna obviously coordinate. <sighs> Those are so, so cute. Um, with the umbrella builder punch, the builder umbrella punch, they call it. Okay, so we're just gonna pull all these sheets out so you guys can see. So again, this is paper and dies that you can start ordering on February 4th. If you wanna get the starter kit though, I bet you could probably order them in your starter kit if you wanted to, because like anything else, usually, like back in December, if you got the starter kit, <clears throat> excuse me, we could pre-order then out of the mini catalog. So I'm, you could have gotten mini catalog stuff in your starter kit. So I'm sure if you're wanting any of these die sets or this cute paper I'm gonna show you right now, you could get it in your starter kit too. Or get your starter kit and then you can get all this stuff in your first order at 20% off, right? Okay, so I'm gonna, ooh, I see. So it's um, three sheets of four different patterns. So I already showed you this, but I just think, look at, oh my gosh, spring. Oh, so cute, right? Yes, Philomena, love the umbrellas. I do too, and hey, Tammy, how are you? Oh, and then this is cute. So the backside is like raindrops, okay? So three sheets of that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I opened this. So you can see, right? So that um, coordinated with the umbrella punch. Now these are a bunch of hearts. Look at, I have to show you all the different colors too. It's this whole spectrum of hearts that your heart punch pack is gonna punch those hearts out if you would like. And then the backside is this cute kind of pink and white gingham, okay? And then, ooh, with the little, um, uh, yeah, the small bloom punch. I don't have that name yet. Oh backside's really cute too. So look at all these flowers. You could punch these flowers out or just keep it intact and use it as super cute designer series paper. And then look at the backside. Oh my gosh. It's like a, a spring rainbow of colors right there. So super duper cute. I love. Okay, we're going to be breaking into this paper really soon, I think. Um, okay, then we have the last one, which is the tulips, the beautiful springy tulips that your tulip builder punch will punch out. And then the backside, this is kind of um, distressed, I guess I would say, I was trying to think of the right word, but it looks like kind of a pale green distressed. And I think it's gonna tell me the colors because now I wanna know what color that is. Ooh, there's a bunch, okay. Balmy blue, blushing bride, calypso coral, coastal cabana, crushed curry, daffodil delight. That was probably granny apple green. Gorgeous grape, highland heather, petal pink, pool party and whisper white. So lots of cute, oh my gosh, springy colors in that paper. You guys are gonna, so I already ordered two packs of this paper because I think it's gonna be so much fun to play with. So, and then there's the back side too. Yeah, I guess I already showed you guys, but look at, oh, it's just so cute together too, right? So, okay, so again, February 4th, you can order that or if you get the starter kit or you're a demonstrator, you can order right now. 
okay? And we'll be playing with, I, I don't know if I'll get all of it, but we'll, I'll have some of it and I'll be showing you guys some of it over the next couple of weeks also. Yes, and it coordinates with so many stamp sets too. You're right, Philomena. So it'd be like a good kind of um, add-on there also. So good stuff. Okay, let's see. I feel like I'm already off track. Uh, let's do our drawings. Let me scoot this stuff out of the way. So first of all, we are gonna do our drawing for the super cute. These are the little pom-poms, the assorted pom-pom pack that is part of the birthday bonanza, that cute little, there's like a koala. That's the one I remember is the koala. There are a few animals in there. Anyway, so these little pom-poms that they show like on the birthday hats, they put them on like the top of the birthday hat. So anyway, super cute little um, embellishment there. Cannot wait to play with those too, right? So your name is in the little blue basket. If you shared the Facebook Live video anytime between uh, last Friday and um, Thursday last night, Thursday night, I put your name in the drawing. So make sure you share the video anytime between now and next Thursday and your name will go in the drawing um, to win something else fun. I'll show you in just a sec. And also if you're new to me and you just sign up for my email list, your name is in here as well. So, okay, let's see here. I'm gonna shake these all around. All right, I got one in my hand and it is Vina. I think you might've won last week too. She's a good sharer. Can that ever come into view? Barely. There we go. Vina, Miss Vina Gomez. So congratulations. You are going to get those super cute little, the little pom-pom pack. I'll send those out to you. So thank you for your shares, Miss Vina. I appreciate that. Okay. Now, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Oh, so something fun. Um, one of, um, one of my brand new downline members, uh, Miss Charlene Mogg, so she just bought the starter kit. She has already sold uh, $300, so she's already, actually more than that, she's already for, met her first quarterly minimum, so go Charlene. So she definitely took advantage of the great starter kit deal, and then she took advantage of Celebration, getting all of those free, pro like, I think, you know, say she sold $300, then she got six free celebration items, like $50 celebration items. And she also got 20% off of her order. Plus she got the ladybug stamp set too. I forgot about that. So anyway, awesome for you. Go Miss Charlene. You are out with a bang on um, getting that starter kit and getting your orders in. So congratulations to you, Miss Charlene. So yay, that's awesome. All right. So hey, Sally, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. And Sharon's doing the clappy emoji. That's very cute. <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna draw for, well, actually, let me back up and say, um, and again, if you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure everybody knows how this works. So each week when I do my two projects, if you put an order in and use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit, and it's also at gatheringinspiration.com, uh, you get the two projects that I demonstrate. So for example, last week's orders, anytime between last Friday and this past Wednesday at midnight, if they spent at least $30, they got these two cards in the mail, or, or will be getting, because I have to wait till I do the video, or the, um, the drawing, right? So yes, they get these two cards as a thank you for their order. If they use the host code, just have to make sure to use the host code. And then their name also went in the drawing to win glary glary the sending you thoughts stamp set so we're going to do that drawing in just a sec and if they ordered at least 50 dollars, they're going to get a pack of these uh champagne rhinestones which are my absolute favorite so all right so now yep i've got the names in here so we're going to do the drawing so everyone automatically gets the cards with a 30 dollar order the embellishment the champagne rhinestones with at least a 50 dollar order and their name is in the drawing to win the sending you thought stamp set so i'm going to shake these around not quite as many uh names in here i have to say <laughs> that is that is awesome all right so here we go shaking these around and Make sure I have one in my hand. Yes, I always have to do that because I'm afraid I'm going to pull two out and then what would I do? So Miss Kathy, and Kathy, I am not um, sure how to pronounce your last name. It's V-L-C-E-K, Vlcek is what I'm going to say. But Miss Kathy, congratulations. You are the winner of the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. This is too bright around here already. I can just feel it. It's bugging me. So sorry. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I got like all excited about doing this next drawing. Sorry, I'm looking down here and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. So um, I forgot to mention, 
that um, next week when you share the video or sign up for my email list, sorry, we're like gonna do a little rewind, your name is gonna go in the drawing. Oh, Kathy, you're on here. Oh, awesome. I hadn't seen, and you have to tell me, I don't know how to pronounce your last name and I hate to like say it wrong, um, but congratulations, that is awesome. <laughs> so good, I didn't, I didn't even see you on here, so very cool. So yes, I will be sending um, the cards and the embellishment and the new um, stamp set out to you. So awesome, awesome. So, okay, back to what I was saying. Um, these are the designer elements. So this is what your name will go in the drawing if you share the Facebook Live video or if you sign up for my email list, your name will go in the drawing next week for these designer elements. And they are just so pretty. Plus I think they're kind of, they could be good for like masculine cards. Maybe they'd be like a buttons on like a man's shirt or something. Could be, right? Um, or they could be fun even like, um, like on a purse or something. They could be like cute like buttons on a purse too. So. Very cool. All right, let me get myself organized here. So now moving ahead to next week's drawing. So again, if you put an order in, use the host code, you're gonna get the projects I'll demonstrate in a few minutes. If you order at least $50, you're gonna get the champagne rhinestones and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the happy birthday to you stamp set. So you could get this just in time to then be able to get the die that would cut that whole cake out. And then I think it's a separate one that does like another set of flowers, maybe to kind of pop them up on there. So this stamp set, and like I said, this was one of the cards that we made. I forgot to mention, this was a swap that I received from Rhonda Bassler. She is out in California and I loved, cause I wasn't quite sure what to do, like how to color that. So I love how she colored that cake. Um, and the flowers too, and they kind of bled out. I'm honestly not entirely sure. I used Blender, yeah, our Stampin' Blends markers, but I feel like she did something, because you see how they it really kind of came out around the edges. I love, it's like a very pretty watercolory look, but very intense, but I liked that a lot, that real, the deep dark colors on that. So very pretty idea that you could use if you win the happy birthday to you stamp set. If you don't win though, you put a $50 order in during celebration, you can get this set for free also. So lots of ways to get that stamp set. Here's another really pretty one too, and I love how this one was colored as well. And I'm looking, because normally they put the name on the back, it must be inside. So let's see if I can give credit to who made this one, because I like those sequins too. Well, God darn it, I don't know. They didn't put their name on it, so I don't have any, I can't tell you who made that swap, but it's very, very pretty, isn't it? I love the more subtle coloring and then with the, um, the sequins on there too. Very, very pretty. So great examples that you could make with that stamp set, right? Okay, let's see. I feel like I jumped around and now I'm like, um, make sure that I told you guys about everything. Do, 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 I wanna have like that do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. So the other thing I have to tell you guys about is, and I, I posted it, on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I, I think I've emailed and posted to our Facebook group. Anyway, I'm trying to like cover all my bases and sometimes I forget <laughs> which one did I do or didn't do. So hopefully I'm reaching lots of people in lots of different ways. But, so my point is that I am now participating. I'm now a member of the Demo Design Dream Team, which is a fabulous name, isn't it? Um, we did pick the name, I did not help, um, but I love, I love the name of it. So the Demo Design Dream Team, basically. So we are doing uh, PDF tutorials. There are 16 fabulous, super creative demonstrators, and well, 15 and then me, <laughs> um, that are designing projects each month and then putting them together. So I'll just kind of, I'm gonna do a quick flip because basically you can get this PDF tutorial, all 16 projects free with a $50 order as well. And I should have said that earlier. What I'm gonna do is you can either get the PDF tutorial or you can get the free embellishment with your $50 order. So each time you put an order in, just send me a message and say, I want the PDF or I would prefer the um, free embellishment for the month. It doesn't matter to me. And if you put two orders in in a month, one month you could get the PDF tutorial and the other, or the other time you could get the, um, 
the rhinestones in this case rhinestones this month it's always a free embellishment it changes every month but so this demo design dream team so here i'm going to kind of so you can see they're all like in color um 16 different projects with lots of like step-by-step -step instructions on how to put all of these awesome projects together and it's all using current product so you can get these and print them out and keep them and have them you know so that maybe you pull out a stamp set that you've had for a little while and you probably have um, a fun idea that you can use right here again full color step by step exactly how we would put the project together so if anybody has any questions on that let me know but this is something we're going to be doing every single month now so i'm already working on we're January, so next month will be February. I um, am wrapping that up and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do for the March um, tutorial as well. So it's been really fun, um, kind of challenging for me too to, you know, I do a lot of casing, copying and sharing, like other people's ideas. So this is, I have to come up with my own darn thing here. I have to do it all on my own, which is hard for me. <laughs> so anyway, but I wanted to let you guys know about that because I think it's kind of a fun thing. I was very honored to be invited to be a part of it, so um let's see let's see oh okay i know i want to show you guys because if you haven't seen this is the i'll show you the little flyer first the kerchief card kit so this is one of those freebies that you can get during celebration free with a 50 dollar order and i think you it's eight cards does it even say on there yes eight cards so you could make four of this card right here i only put one of each of them together because i wanted people to see kind of how um how they come together to like all the parts and pieces but this is beautiful isn't it so and you don't even have to do stamping they actually already have that pre-printed on the tag that says celebrate today so basically you just put these cards together and then they have a cute envelope so i kind of switched them up um those two colors I put together, and then here's the other one. So you could go either way, right? Maybe the blues and pinks go a little bit better together, but here's the other card and the envelope too. Ah, uh, okay, Tammy, I'm glad you could step in and, and watch for a few minutes. Yes, uh, make sure, yeah, you do catch the replay later because I've got lots of good stuff to share with you still. So then this is the other card, and they, so these things you just pop right out, this little guy you pop right out, and then they've got the twine. So super cute. I, some, you know, I never know with the card kits. Am I going to like them? A lot of times I see them and I go, yeah, that's okay. And then I get it and I'm like, oh, it's so much better than I thought it was. You know, it's, it's hard. To, it's like designer series paper is the same way you get it. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is so much more beautiful than I realized it was. But so here extra envelopes. And then this is kind of the rest of the package. So you can see the, the printed vellum, They've got some just clear vellum. And then these are the little pieces that pop right out. So the leaves pop right out and the flowers and the ovals pop right out. And then here, and in different languages. So too, if you speak another language, <laughs> you can say thinking of you or celebrate today in a couple of different languages, which I don't even know <laughs> what they all are. Uh, but so, you know, enough in English. So if you need to have some help with that. And then here are the gold foil look at who who beautiful huh but again it's all perforated so you just i've used almost all of those right they just pop right out so super cute card kit again you can get it for free with your 50 dollars order during celebration oh they give you the twine too and then they give you some uh, dimensionals also so literally i don't think you need anything maybe some adhesive if you don't use dimensionals on everything but that's it it's a really cute kit so okay Oh, all right. I have to show you guys. I have so much to show you guys right now. There's just so much good stuff happening. So I want to show you guys. Well, actually, let me back up because this is awesome. Uh, I got a couple more cards in the mail. And I, so I have to show you guys these first. So this is from my downline Paulette and I loved, so she's got like the little snowman and then it builds up as it goes. I just thought that was so cute. So uh, this stamp set you actually still can order. It's one that's carried over the stamp set and the punch. So if you did not get your snowman punch and you still would like it, you could do that also. But thank you, Miss Paulette, super cute card that she sent and had nice things to say inside, which I appreciate, Miss Paulette. And then Miss Sandra sent this 
awesome happy new year card right so it says happy new year 2020 and then i love that scene like oh my gosh it's like somewhere in europe right this pretty bridge and the little castle or the church there so super duper cute uh happy new year card so thank you sandra for that one as well all right now i want to show you guys some swaps so we did a little bit of swapping oh no i just have one because the other one i'm going to show you in just a little bit but so I haven't really played with this stamp set too much, um, but I'm planning on it. So this is the Gangs All Mirror stamp set. And this was a card that my Downline Sunday made uh, for our group meeting the other day. So super cute how she stamped all those cute little mirror cats. And I love how she colored them too and left their bellies kind of white. And then um, she did lots of coloring down here too. And then I have to show you because I think this is kind of fun, right? So you open it, right? And it's got the little mirror cat that pops up. And it says, happy birthday to a stand-up friend. So that is just so cute, I think. I love that little card. So thank you, Sunday, for sharing that with us. And let's see what else. Oh, I'm going to show you guys a couple more swaps. It is a really adorable stamp set, isn't it, Philomena? Um, let me make sure these are kind of in order here. So these all, well, they feature a lot of celebration products. So this is... Um, you know what, maybe I'll, these are so glary. I'm gonna share these when I turn the camera down. I changed my mind. Yeah, so give me a sec, we'll flip the camera down and I'll show you, I think it'll be better if I flip the camera down and show you them down there. So moving on, we'll do, we'll do that in a minute. So just a quick reminder, I did finally get the email out about online bingo on Thursday, February 27th. So let me know if you would like to sign up. I've already got a couple people that are signed up and I would love to get as many as we can because the more we get, the more prizes I can get uh, and the more fun that we can have playing bingo too and like uh, sending out prizes to everybody. So let me know. Uh, RSVPs are due by Monday, February 10th for online bingo. Uh, it's $49. We play at least four games of bingo. We have make and takes. I give you a cute swag bag with fun product in it. I always make a little treat for everybody. So it's an awesome, awesome night. If you have any questions, let me know and I can get you in touch with somebody that's played online bingo before. We do it on a Facebook group. So if you're watching online, I know you can get on to be, you know, to be online, right? So we'll get you set up on that separate Facebook group and we will have some fun playing bingo, okay? Um, Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the other thing. So my class to go, and I totally don't have any of the stuff here, but the From My Heart class to go RSVPs. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> You're in, huh? Awesome, awesome, yes. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry. The From My Heart class to go, the cute um, Valentine. So it's cards, um, like three by three note cards, and then a couple of treat box ideas. So kind of a variety. I didn't want to do all cards or all treats. I did like a little mixture of both. Um, but that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And I've been emailing and posting about that too. But RSVPs for that class to go are due next Wednesday, January 22nd. I moved that date up a little bit because I want to make sure that I get enough time to get everything ordered and prepped and sent out to you guys in enough time to make your things before Valentine's Day. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for one of those cute to-go kits, okay? Um, all right, I'm gonna do a quick scan of my table and make sure, but I think, yeah, I wanted to show you guys these swaps and things. So let's do that. I'm very worried I've forgotten something, but I think we're okay. It'll be all right. If I forgot it, I'll tell you guys about it next week. How's that? Okay, so turn your heads away for a second. Thank you guys. You're so sweet about the bingo. <laughs> I love that you guys love bingo and I love, yeah, we have um, such a good time. So thank you guys. All right, turn your heads away for a moment and we are gonna flip the camera down and we'll do our stamping. And like I said, I've got a couple more um, swaps and things to show you guys. All right, let's get this. I feel like it's not quite, are we gonna be okay? All right, we're gonna flip it down. There we go. All right, let's get it situated. There. Yep, okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, I put it in the wrong way for some reason. I'm like holding on to. Oh my gosh, if those if the cops come again, I'm gonna be super <laughs> embarrassed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here. Oop. Oh, that's not what I want to do either. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get that 
there. So you see my pretty turquoise table. <laughs> okay, so actually we'll pull this guy out too. So here's the host code that you need if you would like to order online anytime this month in January. So it's the M9XQB4VQ. But I will tell you, if you order over $150, don't use the host code. Just make sure you um, select me as your demonstrator when you order so that I know, you know that you're ordering through me and I'll still give you all the goodies and put your name in the drawing and do all that stuff for you. I want you to get your own host benefits if your order is over $150. So if it's under $150, use this host code. But I will tell you, honestly, if you're going to put a big whopper order, like a $150 order in, you might as well get the starter kit because it's cheaper and you get more stuff. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. Okay. All right. So here are, I have to just show you guys, these were the swaps I wanted to show you because they're so pretty. And I love, I haven't done that yet. I've, I love the stamping and then putting that die over the stamp like that and then the hope is the power that makes all things possible with some of that beautiful lily impressions designer series paper and this is from oh this is neat so jessica brigden she is actually one of the other demonstrators um, that is in the demo design dream team with me so you can see she's making a beautiful swap she will make beautiful projects for our PDF tutorials as well. So then this one's really pretty too, isn't it? I love how they kind of are cutting the paper out and then stamping. This is on the back side of some of that pretty patterned paper. Oh, you know, there, maybe you guys can see that a little bit better with that pretty swirl there too and happy birthday. This one is from Judy Garza, okay? Then we have more. This paper has been very popular, right? Um, with the awesome sentiment, I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. So she used a bunch of celebration products. She's got the designer series paper, the um, thoughtful bloom stamp, and the small bloom punch, and then um, that stamp set. Actually, I think it's the same. Plus that cool new label punch also. So good stuff there. And then here is another example because you can't see it quite as well, but that's the same label punch. This one and this one pretty label or something. I don't know, whatever it's called, big pretty label. <laughs> and I love how she punched these flowers also out of the designer series paper because you see all that texture on there too with a great big wish for happiness with our um, sending you thoughts stamp set there too. So, oh, and wait, I didn't tell you. This one's from Tamara Davis. And did I say? I don't think so. Lynn Feldkamp made, made this one. So beautiful, beautiful swaps. I've been trying to show you guys those because I tend to get them down to the studio and then I forget to bring them back here and show you guys. So, all right, I need my water there. Okay, so these cards are um, make and takes that we made at our group meeting the other day. So I have to show you guys these, um, cause these I thought were really fun too and feature a bunch of the celebration product. So this is the, <laughs> they're beautiful swaps, aren't they? Thank you, Philomena. I can't take any credit, although you never know, you might see one of these made on Facebook Live. Lovely label. That might be it, Sharon. You're right. So this is um, the other designer series paper in celebration. I keep calling it Honeybee, and I'm really not even sure if that's the name of it, but that's what we're calling it. And isn't this cute? If loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. And then we use the twine on that too. So there's that one. Then, isn't this so pretty with the little small balloon punch? And then we, this is actually the balloon, the hot air balloon punch upside down and then embossed to make it look like a vase. Isn't that so cute with your congratulations? And then we use the texture, the subtle embossing folder there. And actually, if you can see super close, those are some of the celebration, those pattern sequins. And then we put a pearl on top of them with some of the baker's twine that comes with those little guys also. So here's another one with more of those sequins in the uh, Bermuda Bay, right? With the best sentiment ever. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. Love that sentiment with more of those little small bloom punches and then some of the Bermuda Bay twine on that one. And we actually colored. So I was really helping the girls out at our meeting the other night because there were some details to these things and I didn't want them to you know, it's late at night, so I was like, okay, I'm going to help you guys out. So I colored all their flowers in for them. This one I used the light Bermuda Bay marker, um, and this is more of the um, Honey Bee Designer Series paper. So obviously, whatever color cardstock you want to use, just color your flowers in to make it 
look very coordinating, right? And then last one, more with the B paper with, I love the stripes too, that's very elegant looking, right? You could use this on a scrapbook page, I always think for like New Year's or something, right? With the bees here also though, the bumblebees, and then happy birthday and some of those gold faceted gems. So fun, fun projects. Lots of good stuff to show you guys. Okay, I think we are ready, finally. Oops, and then I dropped my grid paper on the floor. We are ready to do our stamping. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way. And let's see, so you guys can kind of see what's going on there, right? But then I gotta make sure, okay. So this grid paper helps tell me when I'm in view or not, right? And then there is your host code. So we'll just kind of leave that right there in case you need that. This is always on my blog though at gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. I totally feel like I've forgotten to show you guys something, but I don't know what it is. So this was the other swap that we received and I held on to this one. So Miss Sharon, who is watching right now, Mary Ellen, hello, how are you doing? I'm so glad you can join us. And yes, Philomena, I know so many gorgeous ideas, right? So this card was a swap that Sharon made for us at our meeting the other night. And I think she said she cased it from Dina Rico at the Creativity Cave and she has so many cute ideas. So I wasn't surprised by this fun card either. What I loved about it was the non-traditional colors that were used um, on it so that, you know, this stamp set, the heartfelt stamp set, right, becomes much more versatile with that fun. So lucky to have a friend like you, right, that sentiment that we put on here. And then those pretty flowers and even the arrow, these outline, or not flowers, but um, hearts, right, and then the outline hearts that she put kind of just to decorate almost like as a background designer series paper really, right? So I have to tell you a funny story though. So this ribbon, this was driving Sharon crazy. So she tied one in like a pretty bow and then she's like, that's all I'm doing ladies, sorry. I made one to show you guys and then all the swaps, she tied it in a little knot because that was all she could handle. What we, we were joking, like it's almost like, cause this is that, it's called the crinkled seam binding ribbon and it's really kind of very thin and it's supposed to be, um, crinkled up like that, right? Since that's the name of it. Um, but it gets really staticky. So when you're playing with it, you feel like it's like stuck all over your hands. So this, hopefully this doesn't gross anybody out, but I um, like licked my fingers. And then if I just ran like that little bit of wetness on the, um, and I'm not sick, so it's okay. Um, but if I ran that on the ribbon, just kind of like that, it just took all the static away. Or I'm sure you could use that static guard and it would be the same thing, but I didn't have any of that. So anyway, just so you know, there is a way and we're gonna use it on a project in just a little bit too. So, but I love, I just love, like I said, the non-traditional colors and a great um, card that can be not Valentine-y, right? So, and I think um, like this, love you lots, could be awesome too, right? And the from my heart to yours. So I think it's more versatile. You first look at it and think only Valentine's Day, but I think there are other uses for that stamp set as evidenced by this card right here. So, okay, that being said, we're gonna make some cute Valentine for real uh, projects. So let me grab my things out. So this actually was a card that we made at our Simple Beautiful card class last week, and it's a swap from Tamara Davis, and I loved it so much. I was like, you know what? I don't need to come up with anything else because this one is so stinking cute. I think it was the stripes that caught me was one of the things that I really loved about it. So I'm going to show you guys. Simple Beautiful card right here. We're going to make this one. Okay, so let me get all the parts and pieces out. And, okay. The Heart Punch Pack, too. If you guys haven't played with this yet, it's super fun because it, um, oh, I love the glare there. <laughs> this punch, this heart fits right inside of this one. I'll show you that in just a sec, All right? Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with a real red, actually, I've got this one in here, too. Real red card base, right? That, so card stock, I guess I should say, that starts at the eight and a half by 11. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And <laughs> Sharon, you'll remember to lick your fingers. <laughs> I know it sounds gross, but it works. 
And it's really not, if you're not sick, you know, you're not like slobbering all over the ribbon, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so eight and a half inches, we're gonna score it at four and a quarter inches, right? Okay, and then we also have, let's see, I've got my other. So we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that goes on the inside of the card that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then, the design, actually, no, the white goes next, doesn't it? So this white is a little bit smaller because it just, you can barely see um, it peeking out behind there. So this one goes on the outside of the card. Make sure I do it that right way, too, please. That measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth because this one is just an eighth of an inch smaller at three and three quarters by five inches, okay? So those are gonna layer on there. We're gonna stamp on the inside. So we've got the fun sentiment, being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too, right? And then on the inside, so lucky to have a friend like you, because that's an awesome sentiment, right? Okay, and then everything else is just scraps that we need to kind of do our stamping and punching and so on. So, let's see, oh, let me grab this over here. So I need, we're gonna do our stamping first and actually, we don't need our big shot, do we? Aha, that is very good, right? Hey, Wendy, how are you? And Amy, oh, hi, yay. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. You're saying hi, I'm new here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying hello. We love to have new people join us on here. So welcome, welcome. All right, we're just doing a little stamping and I do not have my glasses on. So let's see how that goes. Hmm, I don't love it. Okay, I'm gonna grab my glasses. Hold on one sec. Hey, Miss Wendy Carr, how are you doing? I'm so glad you can be here too. All right, here we go. I think I'll be able to do a better job. So, but again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'd rather tap a bunch of times than tap once and squish it all over. And I'm gonna press firmly. That might've been my problem before. There we go, that's better. Okay, so we got that one. And then we're going to do on the inside the so lucky to have a friend like you. I feel like um, my ink pad needs to be inked up a little bit. We'll see what this one looks like. Yeah, that one's okay. It's crazy though, in this super dry weather, how quickly I feel like my stamps dry out or my ink pads dry out. So to be re-inking that after we're done here. Okay, so now let me see. We have, oh, and I have to show you guys. So these are the doilies. Love the doilies. White. There are three different colors in our doily packs, right? Because this one is, what is this color? This is Flirty Flamingo. And then it's white on the back. And then there's also real red with white on the back. But this is kind of fun. So these tins, we were talking about them a couple weeks ago when I showed you a cute project made with these tins, right? Uh, so that can kind of be like a little liner and then you could put something, some fun little treat or whatever inside there, right? There's a lid that goes on there also so things will stay fresh if you were to put food or something in there. The other fun thing, and you wouldn't put that doily in there, but you can bake in these. We did learn for sure you can bake in these. And what Stampin' Up! said is in terms of like if you were gonna put cupcake batter in one of these tins, you'd put about the same amount that you would in, um, you know, the little paper or the trays, you know, that you would normally make a cupcake in. So, hey, Debbie, thank you for watching and sharing. I appreciate that. So I just wanted you guys to know, we definitely have confirmed that these are baking, baking. Like Sharon said, Amy, they were called baking tins. <laughs> you know, sometimes things just don't click like they should when you're doing a Facebook Live. But yes, you can bake inside these, make cute little, I can just imagine like little heart cupcakes in here, right? And then put little, little sprinkles on them, put the little lid on, you can make a little tag for it. Oh my gosh, I want to do that now, you guys. So anyway, just so you know on that, you can bake in the baking tins. All right, so let's see, let's kind of, I think, Actually, no, we can do some, we gotta do some punching, don't we? Where did I put my punches? Over here. So with our scallop edge heart punch, we are gonna use, this is Flirty Flamingo. Then we have our beautiful designer series paper. I love that red foil too. Isn't that, oh, I, there's just something about that. And then the cute hearts on the other side also, but we are gonna use the red foil side. So we're just gonna pop this right in there. So isn't, that's cute too though, right? So you could easy either side for that one. 
Okay, let's get those guys out of the way, right? So I think we can put things together now. All right, so let's put this one on the inside. So lucky to have a friend like you. So we're gonna fold our card base. We're gonna pop that guy right on there. Okay, now we're gonna build the outside of our card. Oh, so here's some more fun too. So this has kind of a pink background where this one was hearts with a white. Can you see that, the white background? Same hearts though, right? The floating hearts, the flying hearts, right? But this one has kind of a pink background on it and the other one had more of a white background and then that one's got the stripes. So no foil. They don't all have foil accents on them. Some of them do and some of them don't. There, okay. That was hard to see on the grid paper whether I'd lined that up well or not. Whoa, just sent that stuff flying. Whoa. Oh, and you know what? I'm so glad I didn't put that down yet because we have to make our cheater bow with our awesome, this is the real red double stitched satin ribbon. Okay, so we are gonna just put a strip. This is a cheater bow, ladies. We're gonna cheat on making a bow. Shoo, I'm so glad I realized that. I probably could have pulled it up, but now you know what? I want this down further. Because I was kind of putting them up too high. And I didn't, I wasn't having enough room for everything else. So let's see. That's probably gonna be good. I think so. Right about there. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that is tacked firmly down on both of those ends. Now we can put this piece on our card. Okay. Now let's do our little heart. So we're gonna just add some adhesive on our doily and put that piece maybe right about there. We do need to get this guy in here though before I forget, because I want him maybe right about there like that, okay? You could cut it off a little bit if you needed to. That's why I stamped way down at this end though, so that I would make sure, and I kind of liked how she put it off so it wasn't all the way flush with the edge, but almost, okay? Now we will add these little babies. And we're gonna add some adhesive there. Just put that one right on there. And then we need our glue dots. Okay. All right. We're just gonna put those. So see, isn't that cute? How um, huh? Isn't that so cute? So I love how that doily can layer right around there also. So super cute card by Miss, again, Miss Tamara Davis. So awesome. I love that. Hey, Liz, how are you doing? Yay, I'm glad you can be here with us today. Okay, so we have one project done and we will scoot on to our next one. Okay. So you guys, I had to make some more treats. I told, I think I was posting, I'm like, I just want to make so many treats. I can't even stand it. <laughs> so yeah, and that's what I'm hoping to do this weekend too, is make some more Valentine treats. Okay, so I want to show you, this is like, um, kind of feels like a blast from the past because I made this way back. This was the little treat that I gave everyone that played online bingo back in December because I was able to get some of this new product uh, early for that product purchase premiere from attending uh, on stage back in November. So, but I have to show you because I'm sure you guys, if you haven't already seen, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a treat with the diaper fold technique. Okay. So you don't even need adhesive either. So you start with this piece of six by six designer series paper, the beautiful foil, just like we used on that other card, okay? So what you do is you fold it in half from corner to corner, okay? So basically, we're gonna just fold it in half like that, right? Then you take the one point and fold it over to kind of the middle point along here, and then the other point and fold it over, and you're gonna have your bone folder and you're gonna help make these crease down nicely. And then this piece just flips right down over top of everything. And when you put your treat inside, that's what really helps hold it all together. So you could make four of these little diaper fold treats out of one sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper, four of them. So can you imagine, you could make 48 treats out of one pack of designer series paper. And then we did the fun embellishing there with that cute little real red stitched ribbon. Again, my favorite sentiment to so lucky to have a friend like you. Some of those fun little um, 
heart faceted or from my heart faceted gems they are just use either your fine tip glue pen or your crystal your shimmery crystal effects works great as an adhesive there and then that's just one of those little scallop label punches maybe a one and three eighth inch and then the heart punch there too. So I'm not actually demonstrating this one, but I just had to show you guys because I thought it was, I just think it's so cute and it's been hanging around in my craft room for a while waiting to be seen here. So, okay, this is what we are actually going to make today. I'm gonna use, oops, excuse me. Oh my goodness, I'm flinging this all over the place. Sorry guys. Uh, some of that whisper white, that seam binding ribbon. So we'll play with that and I'll show you how I do that too. And then I still had some um, candy. So these are actually, they're red and white, so I thought they worked really well, but they're supposed to be the Santa hats. So just pretend that I have Valentine Hershey kisses in here instead of um, Christmas Santa E ones. So, oh, I felt like I was going to sneeze. Maybe not. Okay, so let me show you. We actually do need the big shot for this uh, project. Okay, so let me get some things out. Oh, and I will show you. It was inspired by this was a treat. And I actually had to pull it apart so I could remember how I made it. Um, this was a treat that we made with like way back when. Do you guys remember? This is that top note builder this top note die i guess that it was called this was like one of the first dies that stampin up ever introduced with the big shot it was probably the reason why i had to buy the big shot because i loved and i still wish i had this die to be honest but this is what inspired me to make this little project was that cute little it looks more like a purse doesn't it with the little scallop edge and the little ribbon on there so anyway, lots of, you can always find ideas in your craft room too. Like if you keep cute projects like I like to do, I have tubs of them, which is kind of scary. Um, you can always find a little inspiration in there. So, okay, let's see. I'm going to give you guys some dimensions. We start, this is a piece of real red cardstock. It's just a quarter of a piece of our eight and a half by 11. So pretend I cut it along five and a half and then I scored it along four and a quarter, or I'm sorry, not scored it, I cut it again. So cut it at five and a half, cut it at four and a quarter and you could have four pieces of this size cardstock that will make the backing. And if you can see, I actually used one of the stitched rectangle dies. I was kind of trying to replicate with the stitching, because I, I like that stitching in there. Can you kind of see it? I don't know, in the right light. So we're gonna start, let's die cut that first with our rectangle stitched dies. And let's see, which one is it? I think it's the, is that right? I went back and forth with, with which size I wanted to use. Yes, it is. So it really is the largest die. It's just gonna fit on there, okay? So again, you could cut four of these babies out with one piece of real red cardstock. Okay. So we're gonna grab our die cutting machine. We're gonna pop that right on there. Okay, so this is gonna make a lot of noise. I think it's because of like the width of this. There's so much room in between. It tends to, it almost sounds like something's breaking to be really honest. So let's see if we can get this. Through. It's like a tough, there we go. Pow, pow, okay. And sometimes it wasn't wanting to cut. Yeah, this one happened. It's almost like I want to go back through. Maybe it was too close to the edge. So we're just going to kind of pull that off. There we go. Yep, it looks good. Okay, perfect. All right, I think that was all we needed to use our die cutting machine for today, which is unusual. I normally use that a lot more than that. But so here is our well hello miss jill thank you for joining us this is going to be our base for our treat holder and can you kind of see that uh the stitching on there and i forgot i gotta grab um my scoring thingy so hold on let me grab that real quick <laughs> my dog stormy is laying in his bed like why do you keep running all over the house so, okay. Hello, Miss Karen. Hello, hello. I'm glad you can join us. All right. So with this piece of real red cardstock, we are going to score it at, let's move those up there, right? At one and a half inches. So I'm going to just put this, actually, we're going to make it this way. This is going to go right there. So at one and a half inches, and this is my scoring blade. So we're just going to run that back and forth a few times. Okay. So that's all we did. Line it up at one and a half inches and score it. Okay. 
So there is step one. All right, now we do not need that guy anymore. Move that one out of the way. And now what do we need? Okay, I'm just gonna go kind of step by step here. This is a piece, another, because I obviously love this designer series paper, that pattern, right? So let's see, let me give you dimensions for this one. This one measures one and one quarter by three and a half inches. So we are gonna just add this baby right on the top little flap here of our treat okay we're gonna lay that down in there so i've got that little it's bugging me i gotta trim that off there we go you guys probably couldn't even see it i should just not even fess up about those things so let's see i'm like looking around what else do we need we are we can do our stamping let's do that let's do our stamping amy okay so i'm gonna grab my little paper piercing mat because I am going to use, this is the stamp that we're going to use that says Happy Valentine's Day, but it's got all of that red ink around there, so it's a pretty solid image stamp. That stamp right there is what we're going to do. So I like to use this little paper piercing mat to help me with my stamping, especially because now I'm feeling like this could have been, um, I could have re-inked this, so... We're gonna kinda, I'm not pounding, but I am. I'm tapping firmly, but I'm not squishing so I get ink all over the clear block. And we are gonna hope that that was enough. And I'm gonna press really firmly on here to try to get all that ink off. Yay! Okay, that looks good. I love all those little hearts on there too. Super duper cute. All right, now we are gonna use the straight edge heart. Ooh, I probably should have made this. Okay, here's a test. When you don't cut your paper quite big enough, <laughs> so you can just kind of use your thumbs. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. We did it. I should have stamped it over on one side a little bit more, but that's okay. Live and learn. And then we're going to stamp or punch this one again with our scallop. So you can see how these things layer together so nicely and easily, right? Okay, and I put everything on dimensionals because I just wanted it all to be popping up off of my tree. So we're gonna put a couple of these guys. Oh, and I think I just had this one here. Well, let's put this on here first because I thought this was so pretty too. So you could, I had thought about putting that on there and then you just see that little layer and I meant to show you that before I put that on there. Now that's too late, but this, you can see it's obviously, it's the same punch, right? Uh, you could even just use the white side also, but I love, so this is another, that's that stamp and that punched out right there too. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple more dimensionals on here and we are gonna add, I thought I called the doily out, but I guess not. Okay, so this time we want a red doily from our heart doilies and you get 40 of them in here. So you could have 20 red, 20 flirty flamingo, or 40 white, okay? So here we go, we're gonna put these, put that guy, and again, I love how this all layers. I love all the detail about uh, behind that doily too, right? Okay, now we need, so these are, this is, I think it's a three, three by six, gusseted, yep, three by six gusseted cello bag. I wanna cut off, cause it was way too tall for this project. So I'm gonna cut off about two inches on the top of this with my new paper trimmer, with my mini paper trimmer. So check this out, the little guillotine, that just slides right in there. I'm gonna line it up at two inches. Oh, that didn't go underneath. <laughs> I'm being all slick, it was, okay, seriously. There, now it's underneath. This does lift up a little bit, which I probably should have done. There, now you press firmly. You wanna make sure you put your fingers on the little um, thing to hold it in place, and also so your fingers aren't underneath here so you don't chop your finger off, because I think you could, because this is very sharp, right? Can you hear that, that, that noise I always make? So just trim that off with your little paper trimmer, and then we are going to add some more of our little kisses. So we're just gonna put these. Love my little Valentine kisses, right? And I've got my little stapler. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna fold that over just a little bit because I didn't want it hanging down too far below my tree. So I'm just gonna do that. And then, no big deal, because I'm gonna cover that up with my cute little uh, label, my Happy Valentine's Day label right there. So lots of, everything is dimensionaled up. So it's all popping right up off of our treat. So we can do that right there. Now lastly, and where is, oh here it is. I thought, oh my gosh, did I forget the ribbon? So this is the ribbon we were talking about that gets kind of static clingy. And we'll see how it is today. If I play with it a lot, it will be very static clingy. But maybe it won't be too bad today. Yeah, it's actually not too bad today. The other day it was like it was curling all up and sticking to itself. So maybe, I don't know, that was just that day. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like this little treat package. I do too. So these take me back to when my kids were younger and they would let me um, send treats into school with them. You know, once they get to be like in high school, that is so not cool to do that any longer, mom. So, but this, these are like the treats that I first started making. Probably, I think I remember even at um, Halloween, I think I made something like this was the very first thing that I really did in terms of paper crafting. So, Diana, you're back. Okay, so there we go. There's our little um, little bow on there <laughs> with the, um, that, what is that? The Whisper, I think it's called Whisper White. Yep, Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon, and it's a quarter of an inch wide. So, all right, I think that's it. I have crafter math, serious serious crafter math happening here. I just kind of want to like slide it all out of the way. But anyway, quick recap. If you would like to get, and I'll send you, I'll send you the little um, not Valentine Hershey Kisses also in your thank you package if you order online through me this week. Just have to spend, here we go, at least $30. Make sure you use the host code. Your name will go in the drawing to win the happy birthday to you stamp set you can see those super cute cards you could make with your winnings there right um what else if you well and you're also going to get these two projects one of each of them right if you bump your order up to fifty dollars you're either going to get the champagne rhinestones or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial you choose whichever one you want so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you were inspired today. And yeah, I know I did make that ribbon look easy. It was easy today, Sharon. It's not always easy. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Friday. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And thanks, Philomena. Lovely hearts, I agree. Bye guys, have a good weekend.